what's up? It's been a busy week and this week I am upgrading my equipment. So hopefully it's looking a little bit nicer. I got myself the new Xperia XCS and uh, upgrading from the OnePlus One. Uh, this front facing camera is amazing. One of the main issues I'll be having apart from the video quality is actually the audio quality, especially in a bit windy conditions. So I have brought with me fake wind today to try out the new conditions, to see how this is gonna work. Now this probably won't be much different on the OnePlus One or the, um, or the Xperia, but that's why I have gotten myself a video mic me. The best equipment is always, always the one you got with you, which is why I really want to focus on getting the phone to produce really good results. And with the video mic me, you get professional audio on a mobile phone. Now I've been testing it out for a few days and I've been noticing some drawbacks and some advantages with using it. Um, main issue is in fact that it's on here right now, but when I position it straight, it's in frame. So I gotta angle it a little bit down on the phone. So here you can see what my new setup looks like. Um, with a media bike view, it builds out quite a bit and it will come into frame in the front facing camera. But one of the really good features of uh, this mic is this, to eliminate the wind noise that you get in almost any conditions when you're outside, which is really annoying. <clears throat> now the main issue with this on this particular phone compared to other phones is that they have the front facing camera and the jack at the same side. So when I try to put this on the mic, well, I'm gonna be covering most of the view. Uh, I should test out the capabilities of this wind mic compared to the built-in mic. What do we call them again? The Fanimator. <laughs> that sounds so dodgy. This is the built-in microphone. And now we're gonna try it with this one, but not with a dead cat. Now this is the video mic me without the dead cat plug in. With the dead, dead cat on, I think the wind resistance is working and you get relatively good audio quality. On the other hand, we have a little issue with the front facing camera. And that's it for the, the wind test. Now, on this particular device, I can't plug this all the way in, so I have to have it a little bit loose so it doesn't go into the frame. And the fact that I have it a little bit loose, when I use this handheld, I think it makes some very unpleasant sounds when this mic moves a little bit like that. How's that? And when you like, using the camera and walking around it's just that little movement which creates this annoying background static and for that reason this connection should be a lot more stable for it to function in an outdoor movement setting so it has its drawback and its pros um, definitely better audio in some situations and worse in others and it really comes down to a scenario thing. Now one of the reasons I wanted to upgrade to the Xperia over uh, example on a Galaxy or an iPhone is that the front facing camera is really superior and especially the image stabilization software. This is all done digitally, it's not optical image stabilization but it's really good. Now this is handheld and it feels super smooth and still compared to, for example, my OnePlus One where the handheld footage just feels wobbly compared to this really smooth experience you get with the Xperia. Now, the Xperia is bragging about its wide-angle lens and you can clearly see that the OnePlus One is more wide-angle right now. The reason for the, the crop in is obviously used for image stabilization, so that's why it crops in in order to stabilize the footage. For me it's really important that it's the camera I got in my pocket, that's the best camera I have and can capture the right moment when I need it and not uh, having to get the proper camera out. It needs to be fast, it needs to work and just the footage needs to be on my computer when I need it. Other than that, I hope you had a nice week and thanks for watching. See you next time. We got mail.
So it's about uh, two weeks later now. I got my new mic replacement, and it's the Saramonic Smart Mic for phones. It's a lot smaller, a lot more compact. I hope the audio quality is decent. The windshield is quite small, but hopefully an improvement over the built-in microphone of the phone. And that's why I got my trusty fake wind with me to try this out. Oh. Okay, let's get this angled correctly. Whoa, shit's blowing away. There's some powerful wind here. Everything's just blowing off the table. The wind is going directly at the microphone. I hope the quality isn't too bad. Now this is on three, so it's full fan power. What do we call them again? The fanimator. The fanimator. <laughs> that sounds so dodgy. I can put it down to a bit more normal wind. And Hopefully the audio quality is still decent. This is a quite a strong wind I would say if I was outside and quite a realistic scenario and I hope the audio quality is good. I put the mute microphone in in the view here on purpose because I want to do one more test and that's to move it and see what ha that has effect on the audio. So if I move it down is that a problem if the phone is in motion and hello a wild wife appears. Yes, so Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. It's a bit uh, out of the usual probably won't be making that many of these but uh, uh, It's nice. I've been looking for ages for the right equipment and I think finally I've got there with a proper mic and a proper um, camera being mobile tiny and cute <laughs> Yes that's how we do it at Snooty HQ.